And away we go with Afterburner after a uh, a big Flames win. I don't even know how to. I don't even know how to kind of characterize or even evaluate what this. Not so much evaluate, but just try to place an importance on this game. They have a mathematical chance, but it feels so minute. But then you watch the Jets and you're thinking, well, what are what are the Jets? It's one of the questions I had for you, and I'll get to it. Flames win it by a score of 3-1. to one. They have now tied the Jets in points with 89. The Flames have three to go, and the, uh, the Jets have four to go. So I, I guess we'll start there. We've talked a lot today on the different shows and all that. We've talked about the Flames, and we will. But the, And we've talked about it. The Jets let the Flames back into this whole thing. And if, because they led the division at one point post Christmas or whatever it was, I would like you, people would ask, do the Flames have a chance? And my kind of feel was, I think Winnipeg's maybe figured it out. They laid a beating on New Jersey. It looked like 12 game, twelve goals in two games that they kind of had it figured out. They got four to go. There's no guarantee they play the next four the way they played tonight. But what is your read on Winnipeg? I think the Winnipeg Jets are the Calgary Flames of Manitoba, where if you are a Jets fan, you have had the same, maybe a worse roller coaster because you were in a great spot in January, and now you watch them and you go, what do we have here? Do these guys care? <laughs> are they trying? Are they any good? I think they're the exact same team. They're the exact same team. Mm -hmm. Just when you think you've got a bit of a pulse on them, complete opposite shows up you have no idea what you're going to get and so uh, i feel for the jets fans i feel that for the flames fans one team and one set of fans are going to get some playoff hockey damned if i could tell who it's going to be yeah and, and as you can imagine uh there have been some people fr from manitoba that reach out so what do you think what do you think tonight and i think the Flames fans were all saying Jets will win, and the Jets fans were all saying, oh, the Flames are going to win. I agree with you. I think both <laughs> fan bases have so little confidence in their team's ability to win a big game or to come through at this time. Uh, it's just, I, I don't know. Were the Flames significantly better than they have been the last two, three, or four games? I don't think so. Markstrom was. Markstrom, Markstrom was, was. Markstrom was the difference, and that's, that's saying a lot, because last night he looked exhausted, and uh, maybe uh, not out of it, but kind of beat and tonight he was dynamite yeah i think that you know that the difference is right there that's i, I thought the jets had more quality scoring opportunities and markstrom answered he made the saves when they needed him. 34 saves there was that two on one with shifley and dubois early in the hockey game and then in third with the, i think it was still the one goal lead nikolai ehlers on a breakaway and he gets a piece of it but yeah he <laughs> It's if, if he has if he would have performed the, the way he has the last month all season, then it's it's all very different. Uh, so does I, that give you any hope? Does that or does that uh, uh, what, your spirits at all? What gives me hope? Okay, yeah, I like that Markstrom played that way. Except I've seen him play flat games when you needed him to play good. So I'm uh, I think he's been great since having a kid, and I've said it. He looked tired. I still am concerned that he can play that way for the rest of the games, but whatever, hopefully. What gives me the most hope is the Jets not being able to capitalize on this opportunity. I still think it's a long shot, just the math alone. I'm sure the uh, the percentage people that do those websites and stuff, I have no clue what the Flames' percentage to or likelihood to get in the playoffs would be. But what gives me hope again is that the Jets, in an opportunity, much like the Flames last night, in an opportunity to put a team away and kind of put this to bed, floundered and didn't finish the deal and are now going to have that stress of answering the bell at some other point they're going to have to come up and win some hockey games again if you could i don't know if it was you or pinder was it, if you could do that men in black thing yes if you could just if you could just wipe the chicago game from my head our heads take that ducks game not the one they won obviously but if you could just eliminate that then you would yeah, the math, you still need to probably win out and you got to get some help and all of that. You'd feel a lot better, but it was less than 24 hours ago. They 
outmessed themselves against Chicago. The 32nd, I can't say we said it over and over again. Neither team got the result they wanted last night. The Hawks are tanking. The Flames desperately need to win. The Hawks win that hockey game. It was no good for, really no good for anybody. So, I mean, I can run through the games, but again, that just feels like a stupid errand because you don't know how you don't know what Flames team is going to show up against which opponent. And, and, and the and the yeah, and the silly thing is, it's at the end of the year, we're happy tonight that the Flames won, and you're like, geez, they're still in it now, which it could be all for naught. And the fact that you gave up two points, couldn't get anything against the. Chicago Blackouts, one point all year. I, I just, it feels like it's going to loom large. But, and and again, more importantly, what are the, it's it's less about the Flames. Perhaps they can put together a string of victories again and, and put the pressure on the Jets. But it's, it's, it's about what the Jets do. It's, you have no control over anything. You have no say in this. Win your hockey games, sure. But you don't, if the Jets go and win, you don't get to, it's too little too late. Four games remain for Winnipeg. They have got Nashville on Saturday, obviously a, another huge one. It's all going to be huge, but for that one, there's still Nashville, if it, that's big for them, if they're going to get into it. San Jose on Monday, and then at the Wild, and at the Avalanche, two tough road games. So you start to, okay, so with 89 points, if the Flames, God, me doing math at night, watch yourself. <laughs> I think 95 is their max, isn't it? They can max out at 95. And again, the Jets have the tie break. So for them to get to 95, well, they need six points of a possible eight the rest of the way. So they've got some, they've got some space, but <laughs> if, if the Jets or if the Flames win out, but if it's... How do you, do you really feel like this is, that they're going to win out? I, I'm i not putting any money on them. I can't. Well, that's just it. The strength of schedule statement has proven not to be any strength. It's been a weakness. So I guess you take it game by game. And the fact that, and we can re overreact maybe and underreact and this and that. But the the, the team you're not talking about is Nashville. They can still catch you and beat you. They, and it's, it's much the same for them. If, if you want to take into account, probably for those, for, for other teams, I think maybe strike the schedule. I don't know. Carolina, this is what Nashville's got left. They've got Carolina tomorrow, then into Winnipeg, here in town on Monday, and then they also finish with Minnesota and Colorado. Well, do, you, do you think Winnipeg beats? If if we're going to beat Nashville because we're supposed to, is Winnipeg going to beat Nashville because they're supposed to? You should have less confidence in Nashville. They're they're injured and they've traded guys and all of that. But they, the way the Jets and the Flames have played, Nashville has an excuse <laughs> to not make the playoffs. And they feel like the team that's actually trying the hardest to get there. They're overcoming adversity. The Flames and the Jets are succumbing to adversity. They're, it's not even adversity. They're just showing up and not performing when needed. So which out of those three teams deserves it? I, I, if you wanted to argue on merit alone with the adversity that the Preds have had, the Preds probably deserve to get in the most. They dumped guys. They've been injured as beat the piss. And they're still in the same spot as the Jets and the Flames. The Jets and the Flames have no excuses to be where they are. They shouldn't be in this situation. I'm going to jump in right now with buy it or sell it for Derek Newman of Newman Dean's Real Estate. And I'm, I'm it's a bit of a departure. It's not... Uh, the, the usual way we go about it. Derek Newman of Newman Dean's Real Estate Group, CIR Realty. Whether you're buying or selling, let Derek do the work for you. Email dnewman at cirrealty.ca or call 403-619-6661. If you look at the, so the Jets, their remaining games, let's just for the sake of argument say that they don't beat the Wild and they don't beat the Avalanche. Two very tough teams. You've got Nashville and San Jose. And the Flames, the Flames win. I guess here's what it is. It's not so much buy it or sell it. The question just is, do you believe 
do you, like you said, that path there, there is a path mathematically, but where you sit tonight, do you believe? <laughs> is it possible to say, I believe because the, what I believe has been wrong with it. <laughs> you know, it's kind of that opposite George thing. Like, just, no way. It can't happen. But they then tonight shouldn't have happened. It should have been put to bed tonight. I have to have an answer. I don't I don't have right. one either. That's I, I I have no idea what because I didn't even think the Flames played that well tonight. I was going to actually say I we'll get to answering the buyer or sell it in a second, but to build up to it. I actually think the Jets screwed themselves because they brought emotion into the game and actually drug yeah. the Flames into a bit of a fight. They'd have been far better off allowing the Flames to stay, be flat like they typically are and just play hockey and have no scrapping or emotional. The Flames would have been <laughs> sleepwalking. Yeah. They'd have been sleepwalking. And I still don't think the Flames played that well. They got some saves from Markstrom. And Zadorov, wow! Look at the big boy go. Okay, one of those things. But I don't know. I don't know if you're counting on that. And I hate to be negative after a win because it's playoff style hockey, and you got to just enjoy them and and take them as they come. But it, they still leave you wanting, even in a win in a must win situation where they get the win. I still am like, I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's good enough. So sure, I'm buying. I'm buying they can win out. You're buying. You do. You do I'm, believe. I'm buying they can win out, but I'll be damned if I know they make the playoffs. And see, the thing about this game is, they win three to one. And as we've been talking about already, I don't know what Winnipeg is. They went over six in the power play. Over six in the power play, and some of the best chances came for the Jets when they were shorthanded. If you get one more on the power, if your power play does something. You still won three to one. This could this could have looked like a very convincing victory if they played more or less the same. Um, the one thing, and we've talked about it a lot all year, and it, it which is why it stood out to me so much, was their enthusiasm after goals. Finally, like Lewis, when the Dewar goal goes in, they were jacked. And when they won at the end, you could see Uyghur and everybody was pumped. That at maybe that maybe they're putting on a brave face, but it looked to them like this was a big win. Like they how the like they still believe, and they needed this game obviously. Yeah, but but it, like you said, less than twenty four hours ago, there wasn't a guy on that team that you thought was invested at all. I so know. how do you pick an F and choose the games that you're going to show up for and try? I don't I don't get it. And I think, it, and, I'm, and what you're saying is true, but I think part of it was the reason they were invested was because Winnipeg was playing hard and in their face and dragged them into a bit of a fight. Remember that game after the All-Star break? Where were they? The Rangers. Trouba was running, guys. That's right. And we said, that's the greatest game they've played all year. They've showed emotion. They're fighting. They're battling. What a match. Well, they didn't initiate that shit. The Rangers did. Yeah. And just like tonight, I think the Jets initiated to their own detriment. They they woke this team up a little bit. A team that's all too happy to coast through. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to go the other way, not to be a heel or to, but just because it's Lucy pulling the football away and the jilted love, just as I've said over and over again, and people are probably tired of hearing it, that, yeah, it, it's conceivable. What? It really is. Could the Jets lose to the Wild and the Abs? For sure they could. Can the can the should the Flames beat Vancouver? Well, you just did. Nashville, if you win out, you put the Jets in a real tough spot knowing that those are your two games that wrap things up. What what's your confidence the Flames win the next two games and the you how much you bet they beat San Jose the last game of the year? You going to take a mortgage out on the house and See, that's what it is for me, is every time you felt like they were ready to get some traction, they stubbed their toe in, a, in glorious fashion. That Ducks game and then the Chicago game last night, it was just, it, it's hard to, it's hard to at, at the 79 game mark, 
now have faith with all this body of work. They had won four in a row, longest winning streak of the year, and then awful against the last place hockey team. I, I want to think that there's a shot, but I'm just going to, I'm going to be negative, I suppose, based on the lessons that I feel I've been learned. I'd love, I'd love to be wrong. I think that's the other thing. People say, oh, you guys hate it. Really don't. <laughs> it, it, it's a disappointment, really, that things should be better and they aren't performing. It's, we all want the same thing. We all want to see the city buzzing and have playoff hockey and watch some exciting hockey down the stretch. That's the thing. I was going to tweet it out tonight, but I didn't want to be overly cheeky. Sometimes the regular season games have that playoff feel to them. This was not one of those games. No, <laughs> I, and I I was looking. Ken Weeb was tweeting. He's like, "Oh, it's tense in the building and all this." It's like, well, oh, it ain't translating on TV because I don't get the feel. There was that one scrum with Dubois and Marks from going at each other again, but outside of that, it just did not feel like this was a live or die, breathe or dead, dead with the outcome of this hockey game. Did it? Not to no. And 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 all of this stuff, like you said, even if you think they can win out, what are the Jets going to do? Do they have enough life to fight for it? Like, even if the Wild and Colorado are playing for something, certainly we should have learned that just because a team is playing for something doesn't mean you get the points. Yeah, I know, right? Like. If, if if Colorado and the Wild are playing for something, so are the Jets. So what the hell difference does it make? It's not, right? So, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's almost weird because, uh, well, it's, they feel like the same team. Maybe they should be tied because they've, they, they've, they've, they've stubbed their toe, both squads, so many times. It's almost fitting. I do get, and it's a good point because I, I get the feel that that is where Jets fans are at and I can't speak for them, but I think they're in that same, and you, like you say, probably worse because they had a division lead and yeah. they've watched it, they've frittered it all away. Uh, but I think there's very little belief that that, te that this team, Winnipeg to them shows any kind of consistency. It's, it's that Spider-Man meme. Do you know the meme? You're big on the internet. Yeah. Big I'm big social on media guy. Mm -hmm. So that's our buy it or sell it. I guess I'm, I, I'm lacking belief, but you're in. You do believe that, uh, that there's still a chance. Presented by Derek Newman of Newman Dean's Real Estate Group with CIR Realty. He's a, he's a fine boy. He's very good at what he does. And he's uh, jumped on board with our master's pool. So that's awesome. Derek Newman of Newman Dean's Real Estate. D. Newman at CIRRealty.ca. Call 403-619-6661. The disallowed goal... Goalie interference? What did you think? I don't know. I, I guess I did think it was. I guess I did. I thought. I mean, he he bumped his leg, stick, and then foot, and spun yeah. him. Yeah. I I did think it was goalie interference. It's I, so hard to tell, but I hate it. But mm -hmm. I think it was the right call. And in the blue paint, it's yeah. not like he had ventured out beyond the crease. So I, I'd always love to th hear what Daryl is saying at that point because i feel like even if he thinks it's goalie interference he has to kind of assert himself with the referee in that point i just feel like that's his his style i think most re most coaches would just in the hopes that something down the road if it's close they get the benefit of that yeah. call well they got six power plays yeah what if <laughs> jets jets fans will be happy about that well, they took some dumb penalties too, though. Yeah. It, right? Like, because people were bitching on social media about, oh, come on, let these teams play. But there were some dumb penalties. The, the Lewis penalty and guy, you take both. I, I guess you can take both, but you're Trevor Lewis. You're a veteran. Don't punch the guy three times in the head as the play is going up the ice. They're, they might take one. That happens a lot that the ref's going to take one. So I, I don't know. And, and so, like, on Winnipeg, you look at all these penalties, I think a lot of them. I think a lot of them were justified. Now, what about the uh, too many men on the ice bench? Mm. I've never even. I, I, and again, that thought, one to me was a little off. I have the uh, again, our, our boy, Ryan Pike. He had the 
kind of explanation. The Flames were given a bench minor because Jonathan Huberdeau on the ice after the goal, due to a legal substitution, got involved in the scrum. Uh, rule 74.1. Oh, 74.1, yeah. As other have noted, hadn't seen that called before. So Manjapani scores, back up the ice, there's the scrum. And I, yeah, I, I didn't... I guess good on the refs for paying close attention to that and not paying attention to the scrum. I was looking to see what was happening, let alone whether Huberto was on the on the ice or not. And what a thug, right? Like yes, I mean if somebody, check. yeah, send a message to that guy. You're not going to let him get out of hand. We've seen this act before. We can't yeah. be allowing this to go on. Chintzy, That's, yeah, it was pretty chintzy, and especially out of that whole thing to to have the power play going the other way. What did you make of? Nazem Kadri tonight, 16 minutes, 16 seconds, five shots, no points, was 59% in the dot. And I only ask because, you know, we were very, we were very critical of him today. And I think a lot of the Flames fans were very critical all kind of all around the horn after his game last night. Did you like his response? Did it make, did it resonate to you at all? Just your thoughts on him. No, I didn't think he did enough to answer for last night. But, uh, right, even if you thought his game was fine, it sure as hell didn't make up for the lack of effort last night. He didn't clearly show that he was desperate to win to me. I'm not yeah. content with it. You have to be a leader on this team and show the way, not just be okay. So, no, I'm not okay with it. I And I thought he was still a little careless with the puck. Yes, you know, I, that's just it. I, I, I don't want to j just pound and, 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 and jump on him just for the sake of doing it. But if I'd had a game like I did or like he did mm -hmm. the night before, I feel like it would be like, holy shit, I'm going to go out and dominate. I'm going to be 75% in the face of I'm going to get three points. I'm going to run guys at every chance. I'm going to make so that Daryl can't take me off the ice and I'm going to have 22 minutes of ice. Uh -uh. He was still to be careless and didn't prove that he was overly excited to help this team win. Yeah. Let's do the cheers of the game presentation of BK. <laughs> Some people are telling, I think Rhett's drunk. You're not drunk, are you? I'm not drunk. I just no. poured one just for this. Trying, though. Uh, BK Beaufort Liquor, man deep. Located on the Trans Canada Highway across from Windsport beside the uh, McDonald's. Stop in, stock up, say hi to man deep, say hi to the family, get your picture. Actually, don't get your picture taken. They're trying to run a business. We got people go coming in there left, right, and center. Hey, where's Man Deep? Where's this hot guy, Man Deep? Where's this? He's not gonna sign autographs all day. He's got things to do. He's got stuff to do. Trucks are coming in. Customers, it's a, it's a busy spot. BK at BK Liquor on Twitter on Instagram at BK Beaufort Liquor. Our cheers of the game. You've got uh, you've got your drink. You wanna you wanna go ahead? I'll go into the big dog, Big Z. I thought he was he was involved. Scores a big goal. Scored Look, two, right? The, yes, but <laughs> yeah. I like that last one. I'm like that shot. That's high end. So, yeah, yeah. I, you can love him, you can hate him, and you probably everybody probably does both at times. But to me, he showed he wanted was desperate to win and trying to do everything he could to help the team win. And yeah. I don't think you're going to rely on him for the goals, but he did it and he was excited about it and he was involved. So I'm going with the big Z. Nikita Zadorov. And I, again, if you didn't see the game, he did score twice. The first of his two was called off, but he's got 11 goals. That's he had a goal and an assist tonight. You're not wrong. And I even like once in a while. And I, I don't know if, it's maybe not who he is, but you just think when you're that big and strong, you can be mean. You can kind of bully your, your way around out there if you'd like. But the one, there was that one play and Niederreiter was at the side of the net and Zadorov is like, no, 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 you, yeah. you don't need to be here. And I would think he could be a very intimidating guy if he chose to be, but uh, I like that one. I like that one. I am going to go with uh, Andrew Mangiapane. Scored the goal and disallowed goal that was a long review oh it took forever and then the manjapani goal came nice shot off of a, off of the, the pass from backland he also makes that play on the uh is it the two one goal or the three one goal where he's battling with connor on the sidewall 
Huberto picks it up. It was, it was the Zadorov goal that that counted. So involved had what did he do tonight? One goal, one assist, plus two, seventeen forty eight. I just uh, he he's back to being what he should be. This is scoring every other game, one goal every three games. This is the Andrew Man Japani, and again, who knows where or why or how so many of these guys were off of their pace, but he looks like the guy that earned that contract that he got at the end of last season. So that's my cheers of the game. It's 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 nice to have a few guys to choose from on a game like tonight as well. Walker, no. Could have went with Walker. No, I'm shocked sure. we both didn't go with him. Uh, and Markstrom easily could have been a cheers as well. Yeah. Markstrom, very, very honorable mention. 34 saves. Cheers of the game. BK Beaufort Liquor. There you go. What, uh, what's in there? It's a bourbon, Dean. It's Is a it? lovely bourbon. Mm-hmm. Hmm. The shoveler had a friend over today. And at the start of the third period, pillow fight. Yeah, no, the pillow fights later okay. after the show. That friend was asleep on the couch, so you can just imagine how deep the two of them had got. <laughs> well, you guys are back in town. It's time to catch oh, up, make up for lost time. Just pottled up like good grief, ladies. <laughs> Keep it together. It's. You know, and it's hilarious uh, for for the younger people who might be watching. Women get funnier as they get older. I mean, it's they women in their in their thirties and then into forties and and forty year old women are crazy. They crazy, are they're just they're batshit crazy. Crazy, it's awesome. Crazy. You yep. can't you just sit back and laugh. It's like holy cow! Like you say, puddle. Like, yes, you you are acting like you're seventeen years old. <laughs> Like maybe that's it. <laughs> it was awesome. Went in, came out of the washroom, straight to the couch, down, out. <laughs> I was gonna say it's not even that late right now. Like, no. What, what time did they start? I don't know. I got home from lunch and oh, okay, bottles that's of good. wine and life was good. Yeah. So you're just kind of you're drinking all the leftovers, a little red yeah. wine here, a little oh. bourbon there. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I want to take some questions. We could take some questions. There's you know, a lot of love for Walker Durr. Walker Durr. Um, Rhett mixed in a water. That's not important. Yeah, see? Hey, come on, Jack. That's, hey, it's your boy. Uh, I've had, this is my, well, maybe second drink. And yeah. I'm not even. This one here, glad to have Stetcher shows up every night. Mm-hmm. He had a big shot block late in that hockey game. I don't question Stetcher's effort on many evenings. I feel like I know what he wants to do, and that's win. And I think he does whatever he can to help the team win. He's a great example for the rest of that group, and they might need it. Does he remind you of Ference at all? Yeah. Like there's a little bit of a kind of a yeah. bulldog in him, smaller guy, uses his body engaged i don't know if he's i don't know what skill level or whatever i just i'm, I'm kind of seeing a little bit of uh a little bit of ference i I, 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 I would say this when they got stature to me it was like what the hell you did? what great what for yeah i'm ecstatic they got him <laughs> Kadri, richie and lucic can all watch the rest of the season from the pre- the press box play the kids daryl that's the one thing they win there's three games left if Those you were really wanting game. to see Coronado or you had any, <laughs> buy a ticket for next year because that's when you're going to see these guys. <laughs> there's yeah. no way. Yeah, there's no way that's going to happen. So, I uh, they they shook the lines up. I don't. There's not even a whole lot to kind of get into. It wasn't so drastic. You're like, what is he doing? But Richie stays in, and they move. They move Man Japan. I I, I don't know. It's. They've done it so many times. Dubé on that top line. It worked for a little while. I didn't think they were great tonight. The no, the Lindholm to Foley Dubé line was, I didn't see a lot there. It's like I said, you've got, it was a better effort. I thought the Jets kind of got them involved a little bit. And there were guys that had decent games, but it certainly wasn't a 
statement from top to bottom that we're going to win this and we're here to show you guys. This is from Rob. Loved Marky giving the old water bottle shower. Two minutes for squirting. Yeah, it was because uh, I'm sure it was earlier this season those two were into it. Dubois was in giving marks from the old, the what for, the business. And uh, I, I'm fine with it. I don't know. I don't know that it gets him off his game or if it has any kind of effect. I, I'm i okay. Just don't, if you're going to squirt the bottle, if you're going to be chirping guys, just still be good. Whatever's going to keep you engaged, whatever you got to do. But uh, Dubois is a bit of a prick. I like that. Yeah. I, I guess I never realized that he was that way. But a, 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 a bit of a bit, <laughs> bit of a bastard, that guy. <laughs> uh what else well, is Cod in there? Enough on Kadri, enough on Kadri. Yeah, I'm not going to beat up on Kadri. I had a pretty good run at him last night. I'm not yeah. doing it again. They won yeah. tonight. No thanks to him. Yeah, it's it's a lot. I don't, you know what? We're going to keep it positive tonight. Last night, you guys were very <laughs> negative. Somebody very wrote negative. on, I don't know where it was, but somebody wrote in the comments there. It's nice at least to have games that matter. And that's probably the take we should have is that, you know what? It's been ugly. It's been terrible at times. It's been upsetting at times. But guess what? You've got three games that should matter. You should still want to watch them. You should still want to cheer for this team. They still have a chance to do it. That's better than the alternative because just throwing three these last three games out the window, you're already in peak sadness. Right. If you don't make the playoffs, you're not it's not like you're going to improve your draft position a whole bunch. So enjoy these because it's better to so, have something to cheer for than to just turn it off. And not to beat a dead horse. But if you win last night, oh, yeah, if you yeah. beat the Hawks and now you're talking about a five game streak going into Winnipeg, then, yeah. It's it's a monster game, and I know that Sportsnet and everybody was building it up. And hey, Rhett, in a week from now, maybe we'll look back and say, no, that was a big win, that was huge. If the Jets sputter and the Flames, this might be a massive game. I just had a hard time. I had a hard time in in buying the fact. It just felt like last night was where I just kind of put. Lay your weapon down. I, I think a lot of us did. I think a lot of us did. But it was a week ago or a little bit more when I said, well, there's only seven and let's have seven and let's yeah. give her and whatever. And what are they, three and one in those seven? And they win three more and that's six and one to finish the year. And, and whatever their record was going into last night, they had – it's a – if they win the next three – it's a pretty good stretch of hockey, even though they lost to the lowly Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah. This was their final back-to-back, -back, obviously. It was that three and four. They get a win in Winnipeg. Now it's in Van... They get a couple days in Vancouver Saturday. Home on Monday. Home on Wednesday. I'm with you. I mean, prove, prove, prove us wrong. Prove me wrong. Set it all you idiot. Yeah. Said it all year. Go yeah. ahead. Make me look like an, the, just a complete doofus. Yeah. I'm fine with that. I, I really don't care. Yeah. If, you, if, with if you're going to have playoff hockey, that's all we – well, it's not all we want, but <laughs> makes up for a lot of the bullshit yeah. we had to put up with this year. So how many – that's uh, – I'm just thinking if, if, if there's playoffs, we'll be doing more. But if uh, – because we won't be doing one after the Vancouver game. We have two more afterburners, Monday night and Wednesday night. Does that break your heart? I know how you love these. Monday might be tough. Yeah? It's going to be a long weekend, I think. It is, yeah. It's a lot of, well, it's already started. Yeah. You got you people got, sleeping on my couch. You got chicks asleep on your in your living room. It's freaking Wednesday. It's got this shirt. What I mean, what these is she American? Well, I know that they do the big American Thanksgiving. Is it Easter too? Do they have a whole yes. week off for Easter? Just any excuse. Get after it. No, celebrating the big flames with just pumped That's up. That's right, yeah. There it is.
Flames win it by a score of three to one. Manjapani Walker Durr gets a seventh, and Nikita Zadorov the insurance goal, his eleventh. A uh, an impressive performance for Mar- for Markstrom. Thirty four saves, some big saves to keep his team. And and the one goal, heck of a goal. Power play through the sea. <laughs> Connor can shoot it yes. again for a guy that he's got to run around the shower and get wet. It looks like a looks like a mop wearing clothing half the time. Um, he sure can shoot it. But Markstrom was good and. It it allows them to play another day it, tonight. If it was oh, yeah, you lose this one and it's done, so you lose it tonight. Some hope. Before, man, yeah, you would have been totally toast. Do you believe? Do you believe? Did I see? Is, is that actually Zach Boychuk? The Zach Boychuk, or is it somebody impersonating? You guys look pretty good for three games and four nights. And comments. Yeah. Chucker. He golfs barefoot. <laughs> or no, you know what? It's Cron. Cron golfs barefoot. Um Boy Chuck, no T. Right so, off the right so, off the deck. He's so good driver. he doesn't need a T, huh? Doesn't need it. Yeah. Doesn't need it. There's some other things I could tell you about Zach. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> It's not the time. It's probably not the time. It's long off season. (laughs) It really is. I haven't seen it for a long time. Uh, That's going to do it. That's it for Afterburner. What? uh, Oh, I don't know. It's not an hour in? No, that's fine. Bender really stretched me out last night. Let's all go. As a fan of both teams that played tonight, I want nothing more than the Flames to get in in the last game of the season. Here's hoping. Yeah. By the way, are you available to go to the game next week, that last game of the season? I believe so. Because it's a thing, right? Did you know it's our thing? And uh, our boy, it's Johnny Winwick, thing. our boy Johnny Winwick was like, eh, you know. I'm like, well, I'll talk to Rhett. Nachos? Uh, well, yeah, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> yeah? Well, I, then, I don't think we're in a suite. Like I got mean, it's a seat? It's, yeah, it's a seat, but it's, it's a very nice event. Very nice. Boy, Chuck, my dad watches the show. Better keep it clean. <laughs> That's what we're all about, Zach. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, he knows. Your dad knows damn well what's yeah. going on. Yeah, your dad Worry knows. about us telling stories. All right, buddies, it's going to do it. Thanks for uh, for being a part of it. Thanks to Mandeep and everybody, the family-run business there. Great family. Support local. Go and support Mandeep and the family. They've been doing it a long time. They're great people, and they would love to see you over at BK Beaufort Liquor. And, of course, Derek Newman, great guy. Chopping away. Newman Dean's Real Estate Group with CIR Realty. There is the details there. D. Newman at CIRRealty.ca. Flames win it by a score of 3-1. to one. Barn burner. Final barn burner of the week. As we will uh, take the long weekend for the uh, for the Easter. Is that what it is? Easter? Yeah, get the eggs. Is it May long this weekend? Chocolates and uh, yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. See you next week for Afterburner. Thanks for being a part of it. Later.